welcome to the tutorial on how to track your data within the BVA software. Now when you first open BVA, this will bring you to this home screen. Now to either import or open data within this window, you need to go into the top left hand corner where you will see the file function. Once you press this, a drop down bar will appear where you can import new experiments from folders. If needing to firstly import experiments, you can simply press this and this will take you into your documents on your computer. However, as I've previously imported the data, I'm simply going to press the open experiment. Now within this window, you are going to have to select what experiment that you want to assess. This can be done by highlighting this and simply pressing open. Once you've opened your experiment, the software will bring you into this screen where you'll be able to see a snapshot of the videos that you have within that experiment and also the same videos listed under gaze data and participants. Now the important part of this window is the mapping mode. Now this is how, that, how you are going to assess your data and this is either event based mapping which is referred to within the literature as fixation based or sample by sample which is referred within the literature as frame by frame. As I'm going to assess using this method, I'm simply going to highlight the circle and then press OK. This will then bring you back to where you were and from here you will have to select what experiment you would like to assess and then go up to the top centre of the screen and press Somatic Gaze Mapping. Once you've opened your experiment in the Somatic Gaze Mapping window, this will bring you into this screen where you can see the video on the right hand side and then there will be a blank screen on the left hand side where eventually your reference view will be uploaded to. Now in terms of functions on the bottom half of the screen you can play your video through using this button here. You can also choose to move frame by frame either forward or backwards. You are also able to change the speed at which the video plays through ranging between 10% of normal speed all the way up to 1600% normal speed. You can also change the viewpoint here. Now as you can see it is ranging from 0 all the way up to the 9 minute 30 mark which is the full length of the video. However you can change this to show 10 seconds at set second intervals via this tab down here and selecting 1 second. Now this is very useful as you are able to see specific and more narrower viewpoint of your video. Now once you're in this screen you are going to have to import your reference view which you would have created in Word and converted to a JPEG file in Paint. This can be done through using the Add New Reference View from File tool in the left hand side of the screen. This will then bring you to where your template is and you will simply be able to highlight and press open to import the reference view. It is imperative that you label or name your, your reference view very clearly so you are able to understand what you are assessing, especially when it comes to exporting the data. Now from this point you then need to highlight the reference view by simply pressing on it and this will go into a yellow colour and then go into your AOI editor which can be found next to the Somatic Gaze Mapping. Once in the AI editor, you will then need to code the areas of your template. This can be done by clicking the rectangular tool and then highlighting an area by dragging it over the text box as they're previously there. You will then need to change the text to, for me, this will turn into flag. And then every time I track within that area, BGA software will be able to save that as flag. Now if this is your first time overlapping your, your reference view, you will need to do this for each and every AOI on the template. However, as I've previously used this, I'm going to simply go into my documents and upload a setup via this tool here. This will then take me into the same folder where my reference views were and I can simply open. Now as you can see, these are all highlighted and coded over the AOIs, which means every time you click within this area on your template, this will then be coded and saved as flag. Once you have uploaded a setup into VGA software, you simply need to close the AOI editor and this will take you back to your somatic gaze mapping window. From this point, you are then able to track your data simply by pressing the areas that you have recently coded. I'd like to thank you for watching the tutorial. I hope this to be helpful.